there. Welcome back to another kiln unloading. I'm not sure if I'll record every one, but um, I thought I would record today's one again. Uh, what do I have in here? A few wind chimes and a lot of Christmas decorations and a few wee bowls. So I will just get this unloaded. lots of colour right off the bat so I'll bring you in have a little look at that hopefully that didn't make you too seasick okay I just made this wee wee bill which was um Getting to the end of being able to use this clay, it was getting really dry, but I forced a wee bowl with some texture in it. And this cute little bowl, I've had this sitting here for a wee while, it just needed glazed and firing. A wee be kind, don't know if you can see the writing in that. Another wee bowl. Oh, actually, I'll show you the cone. So, I did reach um, my 05, which I haven't been able to reach for a while. So, I think I've got that sorted now. And 06 will always fall down. I've actually made these funny shaped, um, I don't even know what you call it. But just because this 06 will always hit the bottom, but sometimes it's hitting my shelf or if I have anything too close. So I'm just building them out so that if the, when this falls down, it's got somewhere to go that hopefully won't touch anything else. And this is another wee bowl. And what I did was paint turquoise on it and then I used the jungle gem. So you can kind of see Better in person, but you can see some different colours in there. And then more of my texture decorations that hopefully will be popular at my wee stall that I'm going to have. If not, I'm going to end up with a Christmas tree covered in them. Got heart ones. And yeah, just a whole, a whole pile. And then I've got the first one of these are the wind chimes. Now, I actually hung one outside. Um, the first one that I took out of the last kiln opening and they're quite chunky because I did um what's it called um pinch pot you know they're pinch pots but I think I left them a bit thick so if I shake it it makes a good sound wind is finding it hard to actually shake them so that's okay I'll work on that cones again good good cones there so even I reached in 04 or started to reach in 04 some of them I remember to put my mark on the back and others um, I don't remember till it's too late for 
the wind chime. So I've got a, a blue one and I've got one that's going to be red. And more of the little present labels that I'm doing. one that I've had waiting for a long time to get um, glaze fired I've got a set of these that just hang down and these were made when I had stoneware clay so hopefully I'll be able to string that up if I get that done I'll pop it in now I did try, I've got a friend whose Christmas this year is going to be everything pink, so I don't have pink, so I thought I'll just, I had already layered these with some red, and then I just put a white over top. It doesn't look really pink, but it gives it a different colour. And then I've done more of these wee hearts that were cut out of um, when I was making the caravans. And I'm just going to have them scattered on the table. People can take one if they want. It also means you can fill up little tiny gaps in your kiln. shelf again reach the 05 that I was going for and just starting to move the 04 so I mentioned I reached 05 sorry got another wee bowl and another one of these that goes in that um that seed that Hopefully I want to put some footage in before. Got more of the pieces for the wind chimes. I'm going to try those again. I'm just going to try to get my pinch pots a lot thinner. Also playing around with making buttons. So I made some a while ago and I've sent them to my friend. She makes handmade tea cozies and puts buttons on them. Just had a couple more. Got a few more decorations, much the same as the others, with the texture. More of the little hearts. And just one last decoration. Okay, nice and short. I'll get this covered up again or shut and I'll go and get ready for work. Alright, thanks for watching.